Guan's in the kitchen to put a twist on the British classic Bubble and Squeak. This is such a gorgeous recipe. And I just I can't believe you're making me drink on camera because I don't drink at all, actually. We, never, like... we never make anybody drink on camera. <laughs> That's not what I heard, actually, Go Oh, on. behave, right. uh, Josie, okay. behave. Right, OK, so we are now making a classic bubble and sweet. So we are now in brunch season. The sun's starting to shine. It's all absolutely gorgeous. We've got our Bloody Marys already. So these... these um, uh, it, uh, bubble and squeak are absolutely packed full of Asian flavours. So, I'm going to talk you through. We've got, first of all, some chopped onions. They're going to go into the wok just here. Now, whilst I'm doing that, Josie, do us a favour. Mash up those spuds okay. for me, darling. Ooh. They're just pre-cooked. and You're going to mash them down. You can have them quite chunky if you want to, or what you can do is you can have them really smooth. I'm now going to put up some ginger. I've got... You don't add any butter or anything to that? No, not to those ones, no, cos we've got all the flavours in here. Then we've got some uh, chilli and we've now got some garlic. So, already, our bubble and squeak has been packed full of all those gorgeous Asian flavours. So, give that a really good stir-fry through. Mm -hmm. Now, our veg. I'm using spring cabbage, but you can use Chinese leaf if you want to, basically any green veg. Uh, I've also got here some shiitake mushrooms. Now, these were like this when I bought them dried, you rehydrate them. And the reason I'm using these ones because the flavour's about 200% more, so packed full of flavour. So, shiitake mushrooms in. Packed full of flavour if they're if dehydrated. They're, absolutely. Right. They're, they're, for some strange reason, the, the flavour is so intense, they're gorgeous. Uh, some carrots in there as well, some bean sprouts. So, this basically, this mix that I'm doing just here, is not unlike what you would find in a spring roll. And it's all those really gorgeous flavours, really beautiful, obviously packed full of vitamins as well. So we cook all that through. Once that's done and softened, I'm going to speed up a little bit, we're going to start adding in our Asian flavours. So this is white miso paste. You can get it from every single supermarket. It is so beautiful. I would have this spread on toast. What I absolutely it, what, love it. What's it like on its own? Do you want to try some? Really gorgeous. You'll recognise the flavour instantly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to put in about a tablespoon and a half of the white miso paste. Then I'm going to put in some mushroom stir-fry sauce. Now, this is... I'm doing a vegetarian version today. You can use plain oyster sauce if you want to. It's entirely up to you. Some light soy and then some dark soy. All the measurements are on the app. So if you want to make this, which I know you want to, then go to the app and get all the measurements. Then a sprinkle of sugar in there as well and then some salt and some pepper. And basically, all of those flavours just there, it's so Asian and so gorgeous. OK. Now, you would let that mix all the way down, keep on cooking until it's really, really soft, but because we are obviously in TV land, I'm going to pass this over now. So just watch yourself, Josie, my love. Right. And I'm going to come over. And what you do, right. once it's soft, you whack it into your... I love mix. the fact we can be back in the, actually I know. in yeah, the kitchen and not sitting over there. Can you smell that? Smell that. It smells insane. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, it smells lovely. And mm. it's so simple. Right, so mix that one up for me, my darling. Okay. And then we are going to add in some spring onions, mm -hmm. two egg yolks and some Japanese That's chili That's going powder. in there. That's all going in. And a little Ooh. dash of that as well. Go on, then, Phil. Now, I've got my poached eggs pre-cooked here. All of it? Uh, no, just a dash of, of that one, darling. Right. That's the sesame oil. So here, I've got some pre-cooked poached uh, eggs. About three minutes. I'm looking to reheat them up there. And then, once all that's together, you get a mixture, and what you do is you turn it into patties like this. Can you oh. see that? Turn it into patties like that, and you put it in the fridge for about 20 minutes just to set. Now, you're going to do the patties. So into the flour first, then the egg, then the panko breadcrumbs, and a little bit of chilli powder on top. And what you get left with is one of these bad boys. Can you see that? And that's exactly what Phil's making just there. So this is your bubble and squeak patty. And that just goes into oil. And you fry that one off. Let me get rid of that one. And then, let me just clear up, you're looking for a really gorgeous golden brown coating. Now, remember, all the Asian flavours are packed inside these patties. Really, really delicious. Uh, you can serve it with a fried egg if you want to on top. If not, you can do a uh, poached egg, which is what we're doing today. We all good? Oh, 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 you've done so well. That is, exact, that is so perfect. Uh, you can try a little bit of that if you want. Ooh, it's got yeah. raw egg in there. You okay with raw egg? Yeah. Yeah, try a little bit of that and you'll, set, you'll try the flavours. Oh, good. Mm. Nice. Isn't mm. that beautiful? Mm. Can you taste the miso, that saltiness of the miso, the soy sauce? I'd eat that like that. Yeah, it's really yeah. nice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really But you're not good. gonna eat it like that, cos you're gonna eat it like this. All right, then. Cos it's so right. gorgeous. Right, so you're making sure that you've got this nice and golden brown, mm. both sides, 
and then we can start plating up, which is gorgeous. And I'm going to serve this with two different sauces. We've got key cat manets, which is a mm. sweet soy sauce. Oh, what's and it we've called? Key cat manet. And then we've also got um, some sriracha as well. So let me put that one just there. And we have got your fried egg version. Oh. Just here. So there's a fried egg version there. There's that one just there. And then I'm going to get the key cat manet. Put that over the top, sweet soy sauce. I'm going to put some sriracha. You like spicy? I love you like spice. spicy? Yeah. yeah. Can you, could you pass me a fork, Josie? Yes. Thank you, dear. Over the top there. There you go, and Phil. And then... Thank you. We have got some greens <clears throat> to keep it nice and healthy. And we've got some spring onions and some chilli. Gorgeous. And quickly try that once we're about to run out wow. of time. Wow, wow. And tell me what you think. Mm. Isn't that it. amazing? It's so delicious. It is literally the best version of Bubble and Squeak. And do you know what? I started developing this recipe mm. last week. <laughs> I've eaten about 50 of these in the last seven days. So good. <laughs> Isn't it so good? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, For Bob. details of today's recipe, which is all on my fingers, <laughs> uh, and uh, more from our delicious mm. chefs, download our free This Morning app. On